welcome we look at you we're looking at the topic sets SETS first of all question what is a set well one possible answer is that a set is a collection of items they're usually of the same kind these items they have some usually have some similar characteristics for example what are the vowels of the alphabet the vowels of the english alphabet example include a e i Alright, the vowels of the English alphabet are A E I O U. That is one example. So examples of a set include the vowels of the English alphabet, A E I O U. Now each item that I put here is called an element or a member of the set. Now, the way I put this set is not is not yet complete. When you write down the members of a set, they must be within curly brackets. Not square bracket, not round bracket, it must be in curly bracket. They must be in curly brackets. That's a language, okay? The language of mathematics. If you use square bracket or any other type of bracket, you will lose marks. Let us give this set a name. Since we are saying that these are the vowels of the alphabet, let's call it V for vowels. Okay, good. And I say V equal, where V means the vowels of the alphabet. This is one way of putting a set together. It's a matter of listing the members of the set. You have other ways which we'll look at later on. So the set is V. It's called V. The name is V. And the members of the set are A, E, I, O and U. This is called a finite set. There is a limited number of items within the set. And you can name each item and you it is possible to count the number of items. This is a finite set. So each item, the A, the E, the I, the O and the U each of them is an element in the set and is a member of the set. The two curly brackets mean the set of. The open and the closed curly bracket encloses the set. V represents the name of the set. Now notice that the V that I wrote was not the lowercase v it is the uppercase v when you give a set a name you use uppercase letter as for the elements you will notice i did not use this a example i use this a not the uppercase this would be incorrect i use the lowercase a common letters, not capital letters, common letters to represent the elements within the set. So, again, just like in English, you have the use of the punctuation marks, comma, full stop, and so on, in order to write um, the language correctly. In mathematics, and in this case particularly in sets, 
this is the language that you follow all right so these are the universally accepted rules and the language that you follow in writing down a set giving the set a name and closing them in a group which is covered by these curly brackets and the elements within the set so always follow that rule we'll continue later with more